today's session we'll discuss the covalent circuit of a transformer before uh, drawing the exact or approximate equivalent circuit diagram of transformer first how to transform the resistance and reactance from one side to another side that is from primary to secondary or secondary to primary first we will take a resistance and reactance refer to primary what do you mean by this and what is the necessity of this that we will see first that is we know that it is the uh, circuit diagram of a circuit model of a, a transformer having R1 and X1 in the primary R2 and X2 in the secondary and having the two windings here, the applied voltage V1 and the induced voltages are E1 and E2, the advanced voltage V2. Then the necessity of uh, transferring the resistance and reactance in any one side means transferring R2 and X2 either to the primary, then it is called as a resistance and reactance are referred to the primary. If this R1 and X1, if we are transferring to the this side, then it is called as resistance and reactance referred to the, the secondary side. So what is the necessity of the transferring the resistance and reactance? The resistance and reactance of two windings can be transferred to any one of the side. It is possible by circuit equivalence can transfer these two to the secondary side or R to H2 can be transferred to the primary side. It is quite possible in the circuit analysis. Then the necessity, the advantage of connecting both resistance and reactance in one side or a one winding is that makes calculations very simple. If you are transferring R to and H2 to either primary side or R1 X1 is transferred to the, the secondary side, it makes the calculation simple. That is why we are transferring the resistance from one side to another side. Either you can refer to primary side or you can refer to the secondary side. Because the calculations, it makes the calculations very simple and easy because one has to work on only one side. Instead of working on both sides, can work on any one side, either primary side or secondary side. That is why we are transferring the resistance and reactance of a transformer to any one side, either it is a primary side or a second side. Transferring means this R2 and H2 can be transferred to here or R1 and X1 can be transferred to the second side. Okay. The first we will see that how this I am taking this as a resistance and reactance refer to the primary. Refer to the primary means the primary is intact, the R1, X1 are intact, R2 and H2 you are bringing to the, the primary side. R2 and H2 you are bringing to the, the primary side that is called as resistance and reactance refer to the, the primary side. Okay. Now R2 in the secondary is equivalent to R2 by K square in the primary. That what they write this, this R2 by K square in the primary, how we are getting this, that what they write. What do you mean by this? R2 in the secondary, if we are drawing, if we are R2, if we are transferring to the primary side, its equivalent resistance is changed from R2 to R2 by, R2 by K square, that what they write. Similarly, if X2 is the reactance in the secondary, then it can be transferred to the primary side. In that case, the X2 in the secondary is equivalent to X2 by K square in the primary side. That we are doing. How exactly it is? Now, if you look into the, the copper loss in the, the secondary side. What is the copper loss? It is I2 square into R2. Copper loss in the secondary side is I2 into I2 square into R2. Suppose that is your coordination 100 watts. I2 square R2 is equal to 100 watts in the, the secondary side. 
Suppose if you have transferring this R2 to the primary side, then if you have R2 is transferred to this, you can call there is a value of X. The resistance I don't know. What is the equivalent resistance? Just I am transferring to this side with equivalent resistance. Okay, that is what we are calling R2 by K square. How we are getting this? We will see. So whatever there is a transport value of the resistance and now the current is flowing in that particular resistance is I. That is I1 square and transport value of the resistance in the primary side has to make the same copper loss as 100 bars. Previously it is also 100 bars. If you are transferring to the primary side, the effect of that transfer because of the current I will because you are transferred to the primary side, the copper loss remains the same. Either it is referred to the primary side or referred to the secondary side of that particular resistance. Here I2 square R2 is 100 bands. If R2 is transferred to the primary side, in that case it is I1 square into X that should also be 100 bands. Then from that you can get what is the equivalent value of the resistance R that we will see here. That is the copper loss in the secondary, what I am calling is I2 square into R. This loss is supplied by primary which takes a current of I1. If I call that is R2 can be transferred to the primary side, then that resistance I call instead of X, I will call it as R2 dash. R2 dash is equivalent resistance of the, the secondary resistance referred to the primary side. Then the copper loss because of R1 dash, R2 dash, because of the current I1, because your R2 is transferred, R2 is transferred to this side with the value of R2 dash. Then I1 square R2 dash must be equal to I1 I2 square into R2 because the copper loss remains in whether it is in the primary side or it is sorry it is in the secondary side or it may be in the primary side means the copper loss remains same i2 square r2 must be is equal to i1 square into r2 dash which is transferred from here to here therefore what i am doing here is i2 square r2 must be is equal to i1 square into r2 dash therefore what is r2 dash r2 dash is i2 square divided by I1 square into R2. What is the I2 square by I1 square? It is nothing but 1 by K. Because I1 by I2 is equal to K. Therefore, I2 by I1 is equal to 1 by K. It is I2 square by I1 square. Therefore, it is 1 by K square. Means, ultimately what I mean here is the equivalent resistance of the sorry, the resistance of the secondary refer to the primary side is R2 by K square. That is what I am writing here. It is R2 by K square. Means, I, I am transferring these two uh, resistance and reactors to the primary side. Therefore, it is R2 by K square here and it will be X2 by K square. Okay. Therefore, equivalent. Now, what is the total resistance? Now you have transferred this to the here. Then what is the total resistance in the primary? It is R1 plus R2 dash that is equal to R2 dash is R2 by K square. Therefore it is R01. What I am calling is R01. What do you mean by R01? It is equivalent total equivalent resistance of the transformer refer to the, the primary side. It is comprises of R1 and R2 dash. R2 dash is R2 by K square. Therefore, R01 is equal to R1 plus R2 by K square. Means it is equivalent resistance of the transformer referred to the, the primary side. Similar same thing I am drawing here. That is R1 I am keeping as it is. This R2 dash I am bringing to this side. That is R2 by K square. Similarly, I have got X1 I am keeping as it is intact and X2 I am transferring to the, the primary side that is equal to 
x2 by k square means ro1 is called as the total resistance of the transformer referred to the primary side x1 is called as the total re reactance referred to the primary side then the next time if you are drawing the diagram of this then here you should not show r2 and x2 because already were transferred to the the primary side okay now the same thing i am drawing here it is that is the leakage reactants can also be transferred from one winding to other in the same way as the resistance therefore x2 dash is equivalent reactants of secondary refer to the the primary side therefore x2 dash is equal to x2 dash is equal to x2 by k square however x1 that is a total reactants refer to the primary side is x1 divided x1 plus x2 by k square then the voltage is intact here in the the primary v1 but the voltage of the secondary can be transferred to the primary side how we are getting that that we will see that is we know the the voltage ratio of the transformer v2 by v1 v2 by v1 therefore you are referring to the the primary side therefore you can take it as a v1 here therefore what i am getting is the v1 is equal to v2 by k instead of writing v2 in the secondary winding if you are transferring to the primary side it is becomes v2 by k means you are referring to the primary side therefore you are calling v1 is equal to v2 by k if it is in secondary it is v2 only but you are bringing back to the, the primary side its equivalent voltage is v2 by k similarly the current which is delivered by the source is i the current which is delivered by the the source is i whereas the current in the secondary is i suppose if you want to bring the current i2 to the the primary side then how exactly we are doing that is i2 by i1 i1 by i2 is equal to k that is a inverse ratio in the case of the transfer or in the case of current therefore i1 is equal to k times i means the current in the secondary if you are bringing back to the the primary side it is becomes k times i what do you mean by k times i2 k times i2 is nothing but your i dash the same thing i am doing here in the case of the transform okay this is how you have to draw the the equivalent resistance and equivalent reactants are for the the primary side similarly resistance and reactants are for the second side how exactly we are doing means this r1 and x1 can be transferred to the the second side how exactly we are doing the same principle if it is in the in the primary side the copper loss is i1 square r suppose this r1 is transferred to the the second side with r1 dash x1 in the primary is transferred to the second side with x1 dash in the first case if it is i1 square r1 if it is doing a some uh, Uh, I1 square R1 is the copper loss in the primary winding. Suppose if you are transferring to this into the second side, its equivalent is I2 square R1 dash. Therefore, we will see that one. How exactly we are doing that? That is, the copper loss in the primary is I1 square R1. Suppose this R1 is transferred to here with the value of R1 dash. If you are transferring with the R1 dash, what is the copper loss there? It is I2 square into R1 dash. Therefore, this loss is supplied by secondary, which is take a, takes a current of I2. If R1 dash is the equivalent resistance in the secondary, causing the same loss of R1 in the secondary. Therefore, the I2 I1 square R1 is equal to I2 square R1 dash. Therefore, R1 dash. Is equal to I1 square by I2 square. I1 by I2 is nothing but k. Therefore, I1 square by I2 square is nothing but k square. That is k square times R1. 
means if you are transferring from primary to the secondary you have to multiply the square of the, the transformer ratio if you are transferring from secondary to primary you have to divide the, divide the square of the transformer ratio that you have to remember similarly the reactor that is now if you are finding out the total resistance in the secondary side the original resistance is r2 as it is plus r1 dash that is nothing but k square times r1 similarly if you have got a leakage reactance then xo2 that is total reactance referred to the secondary side is x2 plus x1 dash x1 dash is nothing but once again it is x1 div x1 k square times x1 that is k k square times x1 okay then once again now we are referring to the secondary side this v1 should be transferred to the, the secondary side therefore i have got the first i am taking current you can see here also that is c v2 by v1 by k now i am referring to the, the secondary side therefore v2 what we are getting it is k times v1 similarly what i want is i2 that is i1 by i2 is equal to k therefore i2 is equal to i1 by k now you can see the, the diagram here the voltage here is not v1 because v1 is transferred to the v2 that is k times v1 therefore it is k times v1 then here it is we are referring to the second side it is remain same here the current is i2 however this current is i1 by k i1 by the k okay this is how you have to draw the the equivalent resistance and equivalent reactance of the transformer refer to the the primary side and the, the second side in the next session we will draw the the how exactly we are drawing the equivalent circuit diagram for transformer using the resistance reactance and no load or not and x load